Dude, I can do this in my sleep. <laughs> hey, what is going on, people? Dead. It is Tony 2.0, and I'm here with the Black Glove. We are bringing it back, kicking it old school, doing some some breaking down on our boy B-Strat, who is unaware that we are doing this. So uh, hopefully he... Uh, well, <laughs> I don't even know what hopefully you can do for B-Strat, but I, I hope he has a good game. Let's be real, man. We got to tell the people, so this guy was silver last season. Yeah, he placed silver four in his in his promos. And he's had a real rough patch in this game. Like we all we all go through it. We all go through some like crazy losing streaks and everything. But he was was he demoted or did he place bronze? That he was dem no like this season. This season. Did this he season he placed? placed bronze four, and then got knocked down to bronze five. So he is yeah. the bottom of the barrel. He is wood five right now. This is when it comes to League of Legends. This is the lowest you can get in the ELO lab. And it now, is it is hilarious to watch. <laughs> and that's why that's why I think we I wanted to do this. <laughs> now yeah, this, I, I, this I, I will say this. I think that B Strat is a better player than a bronze five player. That's not saying much. I think he's probably a high bronze, low silver on his good days. And uh, with him just standing in the base, that's <laughs> and a, a reason why. Um, that was a good start. <laughs> let's go ahead and let, let's talk about the matchups. For B-Strat's team, we are looking at Ken and Timo, Twitch, J4, and Blitzcrank versus Zin Zhao, Jinx, Ari, Susan, and Zillion. To me, just on Champ Select alone, it feels like B-Strat's team is way behind. Yeah, yeah, I mean... We just have to keep in mind this is Bronze 5, so anything can happen. Literally. Anything. Yeah. Anything can happen. It looks like... Uh, they're going to invade here. Yeah, it looks like there may be an invade coming in. Zen is not following up, though. So it's a it's a three-man invade with Jinx coming in from the uh, from the outside. This is one of those things where early... Oh, Ken snap. Cannon catches. <laughs> he just, just drops the Ignite for no reason. He instantly puts down a summoner spell and then runs away. That that's weird. So we have Kennen going. Oh my God, Jinx is just chunking him. Dude, I, what I want to add in here, the best part about this whole thing is that nobody's dropped a single ward. Yeah, no, no, they dropped <laughs> one. Blitz misses his first pull. Full, Top full lane invasion in the enemy jungle and nobody drops a ward or anything. The last brawn match that we watched that there was a Nasus in, the guy did not know that you have to Q farm. And so that was pretty hilarious to me. I know you play a lot of top lane and you like to play uh, Nasus, or at least in a former life you'd like to play Nasus. What do you think about yeah, the Teemo matchup? Teemo is just annoying, period. He's just the most annoying... That's, that's his existence in League. <laughs> He's just there to poke you down try and get a cheap kill, but uh, this this Teemo took Teleport, he doesn't have Ignite, so Nasus can rest a little bit easier. He started Flask and Pots, so he's got the sustain. Gonna, I, I'm thinking that that bottom lane, obvi I mean, look at Twitch. Twitch. Twitch is gonna die here. You watch. It's gonna happen. Yeah, he can't farm, and that's... You know this more than anyone, I hate Blitzcrank supports. Yeah. Especially in low elo. I'm not a high elo player. I'm not Diamond or anything like that. So, the blitzcrank supports that I usually get when I AD carry are like this one. They generally can't get a can't get a pull. They don't know how to zone anyone, and you can't farm. You can't farm. And against the Jinx Zillion, uh, a poke bot lane like that, this Twitch can't farm. Look at him. Yeah, it, it's gonna be tough. Uh, I'll be interested to see. Yeah, he's he's gone here. B strat and B strat goes <laughs> down. <laughs> <laughs> so what B Strat doesn't know is that it helps out to actually kill the small uh, jungle creep before killing the big one. And he you misses a standing damage. still zillion. Oh my god! Oh, it does. It helps to build get those little creeps because they do provide some uh, health regen. I did not know zillion can throw his bombs on the ground now. Yeah, I, I think they changed in this recent patch. They changed over to a skill shot. Hmm. That uh, that really that nerfs the shit out of Zillion. Well, it has a blast radius, so. <laughs> and it's it's indicated on the ground when you're in game. Yeah. Or if you're able to see that, that's that's huge. 
So Jinx is going to go ahead and get the early level here uh, on this Twitch. We'll have to see, you know, as far as, as early CS goes, it's not a surprise just with how poorly the Blitz pulls have attempted to be. I don't know, I mean, how did Jinx, I don't even see how she took damage considering that Twitch has not been in lane, but she's down to I, half I assume, health. I would assume majority of the damage is minion damage. I yeah. Mean, when you're poking, the minions immediately aggro you, and they, they start attacking you, and if you're just standing around minions that are all attacking you, you're going to take damage. Xin Zhao coming in for a gank here on mid lane. If she lands a charm here, he is in trouble. So Beast now Blitz is trying to zone out the Jinx. Which is good. That That's exactly right. what he should be doing. Uh, he just has to do it smart. Jinx is a, a motherfucker of a champ. I tell you what, she's... D would you agree that she's probably top tier, uh, maybe along with Graves as ADCs right now? She's definitely top tier. She has the ability to hyper carry like like no other, really. I mean, Blitz misses a, another easy pull. Here in bot lane. Oh, no Twitch! Twitch! Twitch is going to get it! Nice! Twitch! Twitch should be able to pick up a double here. The thing going on with, um, with Jinx there, and I'll tell you this for you guys that are low elo players and the bronzes and things like that. I had to learn this the hard way, and playing with Glove really helped when I was learning how to play ADC. The big thing is that, oh shit, Blitz is, oh the heal saves him! The big thing for ADC is you don't want to farm with your abilities, if at all possible. The one exception to that is probably Sivir, because wave clearing with her E, which is her least mana, it doesn't use as much mana as every other skill she has, that ability. Um, you want to have your mana available to to kill things and so jinx has been farming with her q on the whole time and didn't have the mana to do anything she could have easily got that kill on blitz had she had a little bit of mana to do anything with and instead she leaves herself vulnerable they completely ignore the twitch just standing there shooting her in the back and she ends up dying for all so, of for all of the farm advantage that she just had, she just gave it the fuck away. Yep. Looking at this top lane here, Timo is just annoying the shit out of this. Nasus is doing work though. He's he's maybe not stacking so well, but he's keeping up in CS, and I guess that's really what matters. Yeah. Late game, what what you look at, <clears throat> not maybe not so much in these lower elo uh, games. But what you look at is, oh my god, this Blitz is the worst! I can't even do the commentary, because he's just so bad. Hey man, he wanted to grab a minion. For, for, he just he wanted to say what up to a minion, dude. For the late game, you, mid to late game, which most of these games are going to end at anywhere between 20 and 40 minutes usually. Oh, Timo should be able to get a kill here. If he had Ignite, it's over. Nasa still had ult, so... Uh... He could he could get health back with an ulti there. He's yeah. staying in lane. That's that's a mistake. Well, oh look at Kennen. Really Kennen mid went ahead and just picked up. B strat helps that out, but gets melted by Ari. We'll see if Kennen can pick up the double here. Oh, he Ari gets charmed. She should get the kill. Yep. Oh, his he actually hit her with an auto that didn't count. Did you see, see that? The thing is, he was tanking minion damage there. The minions actually followed them to that fight. So he's tanking minion damage while Ari's trying to kite his damage. Yeah. What I was saying is these games are going to go generally between 25 and 40 minutes usually. Your team composition, you want your, your team to scale pretty well. There's great champs out there for just about every role. The thing that you have to think about is how well are they going to play in the late game. For instance, yesterday I was playing a game in my to get into my Silver 3 series. The game ended up going an hour, and the reason that we were able to come back and win being down three inhibitors is that we had a better late game composition. When it got to full build versus full build, we were stronger. We had a better team fight, we had uh, better, better sustainability as well as better kill potential. And so even though they stomped us early game, we still ended up winning the match, and uh, I'm sure that there was a lot of rage after that. When you look at B-Strat's team composition, J4 scales very well, Kennen scales very well, Teemo falls off. The main reason for that is he's a single target guy, unless you're running people over his shrooms, he's just not that effective. 
the worst part for them is that Blitzcrank really falls off endgame and Zillion's only going to get stronger. With the cooldown reduction that he's going to build to get his ultimate up, the AoE damage he does with his bombs all over the place, the speed up, that lane is going to get tough. Then you add in the fact that they have a hyper carry like Jinx, man, this is this is trouble, I think, if the skill level is there from some of these players. Yeah, and at this point, I mean, look at this Ari. They have a fed Ari as well. <laughs> Yeah, this I don't know how Kennen didn't go down there, but... I don't know how B-Strat did not turn to help. So yeah, this this Twitch, I mean, even though he, he did grab two kills in lane, uh, he still can't farm, so when it comes to lane phase, he's... Yeah, and B-Strat is really just... B-Strat is just, just... I don't know what he's doing. Uh, hopefully he's going to get in here. We're gonna say, we're gonna say oh, he doesn't have ult. He doesn't have ult. Oh, Twitch! Twitch, what a play! What a bronzy dive. That, Z <laughs> that Zin Zhao went two turrets deep to try to pick off a Twitch, then tried to pick off a Blitz, and got caught by the jungle. The other benefit for that is his bottom lane did pick up turret, though. Why can't we get these players in our, our league, Glove? Because we're not in bronze. <laughs> <laughs> really not to say that, that silver is that right, much that was, better, but... <laughs> that was a little condescending. That was that was no, pretty this, bad. This matchup up top lane is actually pretty Beastrat! Beastrat, go! Oh, he doesn't have alt still. What level is Zin Zhao right now? So he's keeping up with Zin Zhao at least. Uh, it looks like they're going to try to pick up a dragon. Nope, I guess not. Both junglers are having a really rough time this game. Yeah. Beastrat's having a rough time and so is Zin Zhao. I mean, <laughs> Look at Teemo's on that Nasus. He's owning him, but he's still behind in CS. <laughs> Yeah, if if you are B Strat's team, the blue side, what what do you recommend here to try to get this win? Uh, if I'm the blue side, really, it's it's all about countering that snowball. I mean, Ari is one of those champions that you can't just let her free farm mid lane. Look at the CS difference between her and Kennen and the kills. I'm gonna it's pull a this. Out Ari with seventy six CS. Pretty, yeah, with, with about double the CS. Oh, and B Strat, God, gets fucked. <laughs> oh, he's dead. Oh, that was bad. I mean, right, now so Kennen's gonna get he caught had the here. The right idea. The right idea was to try and get that Ari. Oh, get the pull. Went back and shot. Get the oh blitz. <laughs> yeah, he did have he did have the right. He uh, had the right idea, but he didn't have the, the teammates there to follow up on that. He also didn't have he doesn't have the damage built yet. Uh, we yeah, all know he, he needs the farm at this point. At this point, he really has to farm. He's behind pretty much everyone in the game. Uh, he's a lower level than the support. Yeah, it's uh, we. The thing with J four is he gets really strong if you build him correctly, and so I like a J four over a Zen Zhao. Yeah, I don't know about Zin you. Zen Zhao is a champ that kind of needs a snowball. He, he needs to he needs to get kills. He needs to be a little effective early on. He needs items. You know, Zen Zhao needs a blade of the rune king. He needs a try. Oh, this team might be in trouble here. No, 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 what is... Nasus didn't have mana. Oh, Nasus went ahead and picked up a Spectre's Cow so first. So team is taking Dragon. That's a really great call yeah, right there. That is, that's a good call. Uh, the the red team is late to respond. Jinx, uh... Oh, pull, Blitz. You... What are you doing? Oh, he got the pull locker up! That's a kill, baby! <laughs> it was a horribly timed pull because he could have done that 10 seconds sooner not taking any damage, but it all worked out. All I know is this Teemo is being a motherfucker to this Nasus. So let's see what happens here in mid lane. Ari comes in. Oh, look at Ari. The pole. Here comes the pole. Oh, just missed it. I'm always interested to see how Blitzcrank's build, because you know how I build Blitzcrank, and it's just balls to the wall damage. It, uh, it's... This guy's going mostly support. He's got boots, he's got his, uh, his gold item and, and a sidestone. I I have oh Ari, oh, Ari what a play wow that's what I was talking about man fed Ari yeah you know <laughs> I want to say that Ari knows what she's doing but I think it's just more that that cannon doesn't know what he's doing and he's overmatched uh, champ select wise yeah I mean Ari is a safe pick period mid lane she's very very op she has the mobility and the damage the burst I'm garbage with her I don't know why. Well, maybe you should be bronze. Yeah, should be. My Sona game's on point. I've been playing Sona lately. 
uh, I've just been playing some support. I'm usually mid. Uh, Talon or Fizz is, is usually my, my specialty, my forte there. And, uh, oh, Blitz, oh, Blitz, oh, Twitch, pay attention. So, one thing to take note of is the fact that... What a good play. Uh, Twitch needs to be careful Jesus here. This has not been farming. Twitch is actually 4-0 and right now. Oh, and he picks up the double. Here comes J4, going to lock her down with the alt here. J4, Four do it. <laughs> there you go. Give it to Twitch, give it to Twitch, give it to Twitch. Oh, beast rat. That is something that uh, I understand junglers getting kills is pretty important, but handing things off to your carries, particularly your Twitch, is doing really well right now, might be a good idea. Teemo's leading him through the shroom. He might survive this. Oh, no, the cane, the cane wants to Oh, he's, he's going to get away. He's going to get he's away. He's diving this. Yeah, he is. He is diving. Blind him. Blind him, Teemo. Stat. He got <laughs> stacked, that's for sure. It, it's too bad that everything is happening down bot. This Teemo up top is actually doing pretty well against this Nasus and just... Uh, Teemo is just a useless champion, period. I mean, he's there just to be annoying. The truth is, Nasus is a scaling champ, and that's what happens to you when you play Teemo against Nasus. He went and picked up his. Want, he picked up his Kendall gem, so he's gonna get tanky here. Uh, they they made a mistake, and uh, Kennen's gonna go ahead and pick up a kill here. J4 should come in and be able to pick up this Nasus. See what's gonna happen. Yeah, this should be an easy kill here. D nice double kill for Kennen. That's uh, that's gonna really help that him out Kennen against that already. Yeah. I will say this, for as poor as the champ select went for B-Strat's team, they are, they're making it work. And uh, although this Blitzcrack may be the worst Blitzcrack ever, uh, early game, his mid has been pretty good. Here comes Ari, just, just risking it. In uh, He doesn't have alt right now. He used it already. So he could be in trouble here. Yeah, he's, he's going to go down here. Yep. They should be able to get, I would imagine, should, nope. Uh, I would think they would have gone for top turret there. Uh, Twitch is going to be left out by his lonesome down here to try and beat this jinx. Oh, nice play! Wow. What a play. Nope. He had ult and did not pop ulti. So that's a double kill for Twitch. The Twitch, is, Twitch is honestly at a point where... Yeah, he's, he's just gonna he's just gonna destroy whoever comes across him. Nobody's gonna have any armor against him. Uh, he has his blade of the ruin king, and he has a BF sword. So whenever he goes back, I'm sure he's gonna get like an IE or bloodthirster. Probably an IE, I would hope. Yeah, I would say he's IE gonna, he's more dominate. likely. He's actually farming though. If you look at Jinx's CS, Jinx is not farming. Yeah, if we look at the CS right now, it's 67 to 94. Jinx started out with the early kill. Um, you know, ended up giving that back away when she decided to focus blitz. And, uh, yeah, I mean, Twitch is obviously, it's hard to say, but he is the better, the better skilled player right now, so. I don't know what B-Strat is doing. I guess they're just going to push so out a, this top turret. they push top lane. I don't know what they hope to, ex what they hope to accomplish here. You know, what I, what I think is funny here do is. Do not die of Anasis. What I think is funny here is Twitch didn't need to do this. He can beat this in Zao. He can, he can smoke this in Zao. Dive in. That's an, that's an Owen Four Zenzao with. Why is he running? Turn and shoot. Turn and shoot. So, so something that uh, a lot of novice players need to. Oh, he altered him. The zillion, the zillion ult was on him. Plus, I don't. I, I believe Twitch did not have his Blade of the Rune King active available. If he had his Blade of the Rune King active, he would have definitely won that trade earlier on. I'm I'm pretty sure that he did. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure it was it was available. So we're going to see what happens here, Jinx is, is, the thing is, is that the teams are rotating, but most of the carries are wasting time, except for, for Ari, who's been farming very well. I mean, this this is the thing about bronze, it's all about picks. Oh, this Teemo just... gets caught out. This is going to get Jinx back in the game. Everybody just runs around and tries to tries to catch people out. That's... Yeah, and, and I don't know what Kennen was doing there, just wasting all, he could have effectively pushed them off the turret without... Burning his alt there. The top turret should be going down with Jinx uh, and Nasus up there. It doesn't look like anybody's going to rotate to help. Teemo still down for 10 seconds. Wow. See if Beastrack can get up here and do some damage. Uh, his build, it looks like he's he's starting out with his uh, br with his 
what is it, the Brutalizer, and he, what, what was that? <laughs> yeah, he's got, he's got Stalkers with Warrior, and he's got a Brutalizer on the side. He has no tankiness, so he's going full damage. They ended up picking off that Ari, which is pretty big for them. You know, when you look into the team fight things, when, when things really hit the road, if they're able to pick off that Jinx, Twitch will be able to melt everyone else. So Twitch takes power, and he's going to go rotate over to that dragon. They're going to get that dragon. No one is coming over. Yeah, no to one from the red. They're completely, completely oblivious to what's going on. It finally gets pinged. It's going to be too late. Uh, Jinx may try to ult this here, but she'll be late on it. If she was smart, she could ult it in the pit and got that cannon. She, yeah, she would at least get a kill on cannon, you know, while he was low. Yeah, this. I actually think I think Beastrass team is going to win this. This Twitch is just way too strong. Yeah. He's taking down turrets. He's farming, and he's he's eight and one. He's getting kills. He is. When he goes and shops, I'm sure he's going to have enough to get his IE. I think what would be the smart play here is to not let the other team continue to build anything. Just push for the win here. Uh, keep your dragons. Keep pressure on the turrets. They are up. Uh, it looks like one turret right now. The gold lead uh, is about a thousand and a half for the blue team. That that twitch is pretty beasty. My one concern here would be Ari. If Ari gets going, which she's gonna try to pick off J4 here, it looks like. Oh, Kenan Flash! Kenan Flash, does he have his zonias yet? Oh, what a play! What a play! <laughs> Beast Trend drops triple! Once again, Zillion dies, and his teammates die, and he did not... He did not pop all. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, surrender votes already coming out. <laughs> yeah, wow. the, the red team has just enabled uh, B-Strat's team to just steamroll things. I'm, at, I'm actually happy for him. I don't think he has a win while we're playing this series, like while we're, while we're commentating it. Oh, it looks like it's going to be a first. Now, you see, this Twitch, that is a player that's not Bronze 5. Yeah. I don't, I don't know what his actual elo is, but he has the instinct to actually take down turrets. It's yeah. the second turret in mid lane that he's taken down by himself. He's, he's probably a gold player. Um, you know, it, it, he's, at, he's at least silver. Yeah. He's, he's got the mentality to actually push objectives and try and win a game, and he's solo carrying this game. Oh, and look at Nasus. Nasus is going to be in trouble here. He has no mana to fight this at all. Uh, he is pretty he stacked up. Yeah, he may kill Beastrap because Teemo fucked around. <laughs> Teemo, he did not have to take that much damage no, there. Didn't. Let's let's see what Twitch is gonna do. Uh, he's trying to push the objectives. Unfortunately, he's left mid lane very vulnerable. So, oh, oh! Blitz! <laughs> Blitz! The best part about that is that was not intentional. Blitz What's God! Blitz God! <laughs> trying to pull Ari and he actually caught Zillion. So Zillion once again dies with ult. <laughs> oh, Blitz! Blitz gets him! <laughs> you know, if you're Ari in that situation, go ahead, burn your ult. You know that the pull is coming. Uh, you just gotta burn your ult and get out of there. In a straight line. Yeah, well. <laughs> that's it's uh, actually decently easy to dodge Blitz pulls if you move left and right. I mean... B-Strat's team here now up. The gold lead is about almost 5k. Uh, they're up 13 kills. Their carries are going bananas. Uh, <laughs> I mean, even B-Strat is 5-3. and three. He's, he's not even built that well. He's not even tanky at all yet. Jinx has failed to do anything. Gets pulled by Blitz <laughs> and melted. <laughs> the only person... This is, this is the bronze mad life here. The oh, Teemo might go down. Oh, shit, Teemo. Oh, they the Flash. What? They're going straight for this Teemo. Yeah, they are. Oh, Kenan comes in trying to do... Twitch! Twitch just <laughs> eating people should, up. Should I just mention Zillion once again? Dies with ult. Without using ult. Here comes an Ari, an Ari Q trying to pick off this Twitch here. When you, when you look at that Twitch's health, and you have to ask yourself... Does Zillion have an R key on his keyboard? I don't think he does. Oh! Oh, he gets a crit! He gets a crit from it. If you look at just the farming alone, there's nothing in this game that oh, shows... Man. There's a jungler uh, fight going on. And oh, I didn't see it. 
Wow. <laughs> that that's what you get for not going tanky. And and Xin Zhao has uh has more items, less farm, less kills, more items. But the thing the thing about Xin Zhao and the reason why he won that fight it's plain and simply skirmishers. Yeah. The smite that he has makes it where you take reduced damage. So even though B-Strat has the damage, that that damage reduction is what cost him that. Fight. That was that was all all the rage I heard from the kids. <laughs> Twitch is Twitch is probably going to try to push out this turret here and get his bottom turret. Uh, what they should do is probably just group up, push mid. Dragon's going to come up in about a minute here. When you look at the farm game, the the red team has has the advantage overall. Uh, the thing is, is, they just haven't turned that into kills. I'm guessing they've been using it more on pots than anything. And there's Zillion. I thought Blitz was bad, but Zillion's pretty he bad. Dies. And Blitz <laughs> again. <laughs> 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 Switch went ahead and picked up that bottom turret. Blitzcrank still going bananas, trying to steal this blue from Ari and gets it to his jungle. Jinx. We crack a lot of jokes about Blitzcrank, but no. he's actually coming through in this. Yeah, game. he's played really well. He's gonna get this kill on Jinx too. That's the best thing. I don't know what Beastrap <laughs> was doing. Beastrap must have been checking Twitch chat or something. That's that's pretty funny. Yeah, he uh, this, he's. This game is definitely over. Um, I I don't understand why the red team just isn't surrendering. No one. <laughs> Look at this Zin Zhao. Dude got Brody. Every, everywhere Twitch goes, he's got teammates with him. So yeah, yeah. You're not going to catch him out like that. When you look at the way that the red team should have won this game, they should have got Jinx fed. Jinx should have farmed better. Uh, and, and her and Ari should have ruled this, this other team. And they just didn't do it. Uh, they're going to go ahead and give up a third dragon here. Not even contested. By the time they get over there, it's going to be gone. So... They're uh, they're not paying attention to rotations. This is this is pure bronzy in itself. Blitz is gonna go ahead and miss his pull, but he's still gonna kill the zillion. But he doesn't pop his ult. He did. Oh, he did. No, he didn't pop it. Okay, that time that time he was silenced. So I'll give I'll give you that one. That time he was silenced. But if the zillion ever watches this somehow, you have an R key on your keyboard. Please use it. The reason. Start using it. <laughs> the reason that you play Zillion is because that fucking ultimate is retarded. He would have cut out half of his deaths this game from using that. Or at least saved his teammates, you know, in a couple of those sticky situations. Jinx is going to get destroyed here. Let's see what happens with Jinx. Look at, the, look at that. Yeah. Three, three just, That's all it's just done. melted. Twitch is uh, <laughs> far, far too fed. Uh, f f for this game to to go badly for Beast Red, he would... doesn't even need boots. This guy is legendary. All all he's saying is, look, I don't need boots. I can just run around with my uh, Q active and just assassinate people. Now he picks up more crit with the static shiv. Blitzcrank is rolling the dice here with this Ari. Uh, Zillion is no match. Look at this dude. What is he doing? He's gonna flash it. <laughs> oh, I want him to pull over the wall. I <laughs> wanted him to pull over the wall. It would have been so good. So, Beastrat, no, honestly, when you're when you're watching this game, or you ever if you ever think about it or whatever, you, at this point in the game, you could literally just you know check your email, do your taxes, you can do whatever you want. This this game's over. I mean, the red team, they, there's no coming back for them. Yeah, th this would be the most monumental throw of all time. Uh, what the blue team should be focusing on though is not giving them a chance to get in, and he doesn't use his alt again. <laughs> I I can't. I just I can't. This jinx is gonna get wrecked. Oh, this jinx is gonna get so wrecked. I just don't. I, I don't understand this. Look at this. How you can continue to get caught out oh my and God. killed over and over again. It's bronze life, baby. I mean, the score hasn't been anywhere near even since it was seven to five. Mm -hmm. That that's. <laughs> What I was saying is... There are, there are 22 kills right now and almost 10k gold. Yeah, what, what you don't want to do is allow them any opportunity. No breathing room here. Uh, they obviously cannot hang with you guys anymore. So just go ahead, push it, end it, get it over with. This uh, this is a good win for you guys. Kenan may go down here. Oh my god, that damage though. Like I said, man, this, this Twitch, he, he, he knows how to carry. Zillion finally uses ult. He uses it on Nasus. He was saving it. 
the whole time. He thought he only got one chance per game. Twitch did not use Oh, those. Jinx gets picked up and just destroyed. Oh, my God. Beastrat. <laughs> Beastrat with the dive. Can he do Oh, my God. He can't. He can't do it. He gets the smite off, but he didn't keep going. Zin Zhao split pushing bot. It's a base race. What are they doing? End the game. <laughs> End the game, you bronzies. Oh, man. There is no reason for them to all be backing right now. They should be pushing Zinzo these lanes. Might not get this turret. Does nobody have blue? Man, Definitely Edward nobody has home guards. Uh, he, he, he did get the turret. Barely got the turret. But I mean, hey, you know what? That's opening the gates right there, man. That is opening the gates. This, like I said, if the team with 15 kills and almost 10,000 gold down ends up winning this. It's because they didn't just push to win there. They had minions in the base, four of them there, the game was over. I mean, Twitch has four, he has four items right now to go along with his boots. He can kill any player on the enemy team in just a couple of attacks. Yeah. Uh, the only one, bl uh, it looks like Nasus is actually built pretty tanky, so may Nasus may take a few a more. Sunfire cape. Yeah, that's not... Interesting item on a Nasus. I mean, it does go along with his ult. You know, the, the damage, but that's not going to stop Twitch from killing you. Not at Twitch all. Twitch has Last Whisper, he has Blade of the Ruin King, i.e. and Static Shift. He's going to crit you, and he's got Armor Pin. <laughs> oh, look at look at what's happening in the jungle here. They have Vision uh, on Jinx and Zillion here. Twitch is just going to show up, going to eat this Jinx alive, and then run the fuck away. But Zillion actually used ulti on Jinx. Jinx is just going to run away. This is Probably a good move. Twitch, yeah, right? Teemo is... Oh! Everybody shows up. The whole club, whole club is here. Looks like Teemo. Why are they backing off of that? Nasus with the teleport. Oh! He teleported back to his base too. That's a little weird. This is what I'm talking about. He actually could have just walked out of that one. Yeah, at 31 minutes here. It, the score looks like it's overwhelming, but if you allow them to get into this game, and for this Nasus to get more fed, because he's about 300 stacks right now, it's going to be more difficult for you. That drop-off... I mean, it, it would still take about another 15 <coughs> minutes worth of farming and catching the blue team out to come back. I mean, the bot lane of the red team is a combined 5 and 23. That's, that's pretty brutal. <laughs> Jinx has one item, no boots. That is one item. That is crazy. Yeah, she looks like she's she's building into her uh, her bloodthirster right now. With dragon coming up here, they're gonna pick up their fourth dragon. It looks like. I mean, at this point, if you're blue <coughs> team and you're and you're worried about not being able to siege because it's still kind of early enough, just go take Baron. Yeah. Go take Baron. I mean, mid, mid and hip is down. Uh, I mean, I don't really need to give any advice because you're pretty much destined to win this game. If, this, okay. Oh my god, and this Ari paying no attention. This Blitzcrank, this Blitzcrank is going to get props from me. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh my god, Jinx caught. Jinx caught. Farewell. Don't cry for me, Argentina. <laughs> You're, the truth is, I never left you. Beastrat with the, the signature trying to get the uh, kill steal there. Turret. Bottom lane, there's four of you. I don't know what you're doing, but please just go push that goddamn turret end and end the fucking end game. game I don't want to watch this anymore. There, yeah, I know. There, there's not many times in League of Legends where it is a lock both, that you're going to win shit. Both the red team aren't even in their base with supers pushing in. Yeah. That's the best part. I, I asking you and to end the game. Teemo for it. is backing. This is this is the difference between bronze, silver, gold, anything like that. Is the, the focus on objectives is just not there. Like Twitch, what is Twitch doing? Twitch is hands Twitch down. Is, Twitch has decided to jungle and let his team finish this. I guess I don't know. But. Twitch is hands down the best player on the team. Oh, he got Zin! Oh my God! Wrecked. It's a oh, wrecked. Basically, it's a 3v5 right now. Oh, and Ari's going to pick that up. They're still taking down an inhibitor without without their most fed teammate. Jesus. 
that uh, yeah that zillion actually popped his ult there helped that out a little bit I, I'm not sure is coming in to get this cannon. yeah I'm really I'm just not sure like the overstay once B strat yeah he is just kiting very well He, and and it's I just mean, once he got withered, he was gonna go down. I think if I was beast <coughs> in that situation, I would have just eq towards Ari. Yeah. She already used her. She already used her ult, so she didn't really have an escape. The most she could have done is flash. This Teemo, <laughs> this Teemo is just sitting there at the front of their base. I think he's gonna try and get that inhibitor. Yeah, he's gonna try to push inhib here. As soon as they push out of the base, he'll go. It's um. I just I don't know what's happening. Like, why Why is Twitch farming? Why isn't this game over? What is happening? Why is Zin Zhao getting caught right now? Why well, do don't understand? He doesn't even know what's about to happen to him. It's, you know what it is? It's like the blue team is just playing with their food at this point. Yeah. They're literally just playing with their food. They know they're ahead. They're ahead 12k gold right now. Uh, I mean, they've taken down two inhibs, and Team was trying to go for another one again. You know, what What this Twitch should do is just go finish this turret real quick, get two shots on it, just like that, and now go and kill Jinx. Jinx, the down. And he pops. The crits are just too real. Yeah, it's, that, that's just GG. Yeah, actually, Twitch has another BF sword, so I'm unsure. He might be going for his Merc Scimitar, or maybe he's going for an Essence Reaver or something. Who knows, but regardless of which, he's going to have damage. Yeah, they're going to go pick up Baron here. They really don't need it. I, I don't know, like, the delay in this game is for absolutely no reason. They, they could have gotten this Baron 15 minutes ago. Yeah, they could have. <laughs> well, they could have ended the game 15 the, minutes ago. Nobody's going to stop this. I mean, Ari is the only one even close by, and she's not even... The, the pit's not warded. She's not headed towards it. They're, they're fine. When, you are, when you're looking for things that you can point out as a reason why the red team has lost here, vision has been key reacting to what the blue team is doing. <laughs> Zin Zhao dying to minions? It goes down to minions. Oh my this god. Is five the best, guys. Yes, it is. So Zillion's gonna go ahead and get uh, fucked up here. Is he gonna waste his ult? No, nope, doesn't even look like he's wasting it. It's, it's hard not to like the way that the Twitch played the game. Unfortunately, he's just wasting time right now. Uh, this game is over. It is, it is well and over. Yeah, after about, after about 30 minutes of dominating this game, Twitch just said, fuck it, started farming jungle and just... Yeah. yeah. I mean, he spent the entire early game pushing objectives, taking towers by himself, getting kills, getting fed, and now he's just jungling. Yeah, now he's just <laughs> fucking around. I mean, your team has Baron. You could easily end the game right now. I have never seen... Uh, hopefully he groups with his team and they just end it. I mean... Yeah, let's they uh just, they can just push down this this top turret, top and hit, just push out the next turrets and it's over. Here comes Zin Zhao trying to get in. Cannon is just gonna just destroy this motherfucker. Yeah, nobody else on the red team is even trying yeah, to Yeah, not him. anybody. Yeah, I think I think the red team has just given up on this. They've and been trying to surrender for the past like twenty five minutes. Yeah, and they are just Oh my god. <laughs> oh my Yeah, they the thing with prolonging games is you just give them an opportunity. And even if it's a small opportunity, one or two aces could put this red team back into the game, and then uh, then you're in trouble. So finish games. When, when you have them by it, the balls... It looks like the game is going to end here. Uh, Zillion had to use ulti on Jinx, who on. was getting attacked by Superman. Beast tried to ult in the fucking four of them! <laughs> <laughs> Twitch, Twitch just, just destroying stacking up like kills. Stacking up kills right now. Yeah, he's just padding his stats. That's the end of the game. Uh, be, go ahead, give me your give me your MVP here. Uh, give me your MVP of the game. I would have given it to Twitch, but he just started fucking around after about 30 minutes when they could have ended the game. So I'm going to give it to Blitzcrank, who was the biggest surprise for me, was the fact that I mean, at level one, he looked like the most useless support of all time. But a few minutes later, he he just turned it all around. He started zoning out Jinx. They started getting pulls, getting kills, and it, it was pretty fun to watch. 
Yeah. You know, I'm going to give, even though he fucked around a whole lot, I'm going to go ahead and give my MVP to Twitch. 19-3, 253 CS. He ended up dominating. He, he beat a far, in my opinion, a far superior combo in the bottom than Twitch versus Blitz. The Jinx and Zillion had it early. They had him by the balls early, and uh, they didn't capitalize. And so I'm going to give it to Twitch. Uh, B-Strat, that's a good win for you. Glad that you, you picked up the ranked here. The ranked win, even though in the beginning it didn't look very good for you. I thought in Champ Select you guys were in trouble. But overall, everyone ended up playing pretty well. Guys, this has uh, been another episode of... What the fuck do we call this? <laughs> Breaking Down League of Breaking Legends? <laughs> uh, we'll be back with more. Again, if you guys would like to be featured in here and like us to look at your game, please... Send me a message. It's Tony 2.0, just like the channel. You can also send it to the Black Glove. His link will be down in the description, and we will uh, we'll break down your game for you. Guys, we'll be back again another time. Peace.